黄鳝，黄鳝怎么说？哎呦，耶、yeah, ，可以吃一份这个。哦、哇哦，肥肠，肥肠好吃。那你好，你哋系你哋系系几位啊？呃，三位。三位的。明、嗯，你，请你用餐啊。得上了愧炉。干，盲盒包餐。哎哦。明，六，请你用餐啊。You just order, you don't know what is coming. 六。明明明 so it's the special style of cooking that we're here for, but oh man, some of these ingredients look gorgeous, like that one. So that's Yunnan style. We want something a little more local. Okay, we were sitting outside for just a few minutes. It's our time to get inside. It's the three of us, so we're a little bit faster, but you might have to sit outside. This place is very well known. Super awesome location for bao zai fan, children's Rice pot. Very fun translation. Let's go see what it tastes like. Oh man. Oh man. A little bit dark right here. I hope that's okay. I love the atmosphere. You can see all the clay pots all up along the wall right there. That's how they cook. The energy just blazing out of the kitchen back there. You can feel cool from this side, but heat from this side. I like this place already. So when you're served like this, this is all wrapped in plastic, hygienic. China, a lot about the food, but also about the preparation, the serving. It's all to show you that they're being hygienic. So everything is always wrapped. It uses a lot of plastic, which is sometimes hard to accept, but that's one way that they keep clean amidst billions of dishes every day. So there's going to be another. <laughs> yeah, hold your breath. A ton of chilies just hit the pan. Like ten people coughing and laughing. So utensils cleaned. So you wash everything. You help your camera lady wash her stuff as well. And you pour it into this. And this will be removed now that all three of us have done that. So now we're all set. Oh, thank you. And now the tea. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, sorry. Ah. She taught me yesterday. Beautiful color. Yeah. Oh man. Something. Something. Thank you. Beautiful color. Wow. Mm. I think it is poor. Okay. Yeah, you can really taste the earthiness. Poor is one of the world's top teas, obviously, very well known. Did you know that Poor is the birthplace of tea in the whole world? So, from not very far away from here, actually, in Yunnan. Eating the, all these epic foods, I mean, they are beautiful. Obviously, you don't need to know anything about the history to enjoy the crazy, delicious foods that we're going to eat. However, I just want to share my opinion, my angle, because this is my experience. I am on my fifth trip to China, but I'm just starting to really love, appreciate, just be so excited by all that history. So, where we are, Guangdong specifically, is sort of a birthplace for so much in South. Southeast Asia, in terms of food flavor, in terms of language, in terms of history, culture, so much of what I love about Southeast Asia was born here. Whether you want to talk about 3,000, 2,000, or even like 200 years ago, for some things, it's it's not really important the number, but just. I love the feeling because it gives me so much more respect for something that I already love. Bless you. So I hope you can see my uh, my smile is just a little bit wider being here now that I'm getting a little bit wiser. 
I have a little bit more perspective. Yeah, this is my fifth trip to China, but I'm just now starting to just really fall in love with the history, the breadth that is China, you know? And Lee and I have been together now for almost eight years, married for two years, and I feel like I'm just getting started in my next chapter of the huge, beautiful culture of China. So talking about culture, I still had coffee this morning. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm loving tea for lunch. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's get to it. How's the light? I hope you can see how delicious, how appetizing this thing looks. It is gorgeous. The clay pot, and then this helps the people who are serving not to burn their hands off. Some people use gloves, but could also serve it in this thing. Oh, it also stops the table from getting from getting burnt. Sorry, yeah. The nice pretty table doesn't get burned like this. So why are there two spoons? An important thing about this dish is how crispy you like your rice. You know, against the clay pot, the rice is gonna be really crispy. Can you hear that? So Lee said, don't be gentle. You gotta mix it all together. I'm lucky I get a bacon sauna right now. Some rice is crackling. So mix it all together. We got veg, we've got two different types of meat, fatty pork, fermented or preserved. Oh, oh man, the coconut. That's, oh my gosh. It's <laughs> So cute. That was, very, that was perfect timing. Okay, so the rice is crispy. You could hear it crisping, crackling. I was mixing it around, but it's still kind of clean. So I just want to taste a little bit of that rice just to get the, the texture, actually. So a little crispy piece right there. Serving spoon. We're coming back. Chopsticks. It's probably going to stay together. Yeah, you see the rice is a little bit more dry. Mm-hmm. Some grains soft. Some grains so dry, so crispy. Nicely oily. The rice is very individual like that. Oil coating each grain. But in the south of China, Jiangyou. Chili. Jiangyou is the mature vinegar. La Jiao is the chili. Okay, so it's not nice to maybe just dump all the chilies over, so I'll let <laughs> I'll let each person do what they want, but just a little bit. Xiaoran said it's okay to do that. Now mix in. Yeah, I can smell the jiangyo. Yeah. Oh, and it gives the rice such a beautiful brown, reddish brown color. Yeah, can smell hao xiang. Okay, Xiaora, let me serve you. What type of meat is this? Uh, this is la rou. La rou. La rou. Oh, okay. Bao zai fan. Bao zai fan. Bao or bao. Bao. Like a gift, right? Like a present? Oh. Oh, the name of that pot. Okay. So some are more on the dry side. Some are more on the soupy side, depending on what you order. But it's it's the clay pot giving that that flavor. Oh, so nice! Thank you. Oh, I want to taste that meat first. The la ro ro is meat. La is the preservation technique. So sweet, so rich. Mm. Salty afterwards. Is that a bean? Mm. Some little black beans in there. 
Okay, gotta get a big bite of that rice. Do not underestimate the beauty of the simple things in life. That rice coated by the pork fat, the mature vinegar, baked to perfection. That is amazing. The texture is amazing. It's mm. Wow. Here we go, number two, guys. Oh, this is addictive over here. Okay, one more bite and then we'll see that. So just look at the pork. Look at that. You can just see the fat marbled throughout and it's pork. So this is a sausage. It's a specifically Guangdong style sausage. La rou. Guangshu la rou. The candied pork. The candied sausage. Mm. Flavor through the roof. Amazing dishes. Wow. I'll just taste this directly. Love the fatty, the oily, but also oppositely in the very same meal, something so fresh. Mm. It is still bubbling, so <laughs> hope you can hear the crunch. Mm. Wow. Mm. A little bit of oil, very clean. Also, it uh, takes away the flavor of all the oiliness, cuts the richness so that you can go and enjoy again. Mm. Also, you can chase all along the way with sips of tea, of course. Mm. And we have one more thing. Uh, tang is soup, tang is hot, tang, I'm learning, I'm still learning, yep, even after all these years. <laughs> and you see on top, that very special ingredient? Yep, it is what you think it is, it's coconut. All the way cut, all the way to the shell, so that's what the brown strip on the edge is. It's also, I think it's some pork. Black chicken, yes. Uti. Uti. Lee taught me. Ah, uh, Lee Lee Chu. Lee Chu. Yuan Chu. Ah. Oh, a different style. A different uh, sub variety of Long Yu. Yep. Lee, that's for you. That's the. <laughs> Lee loves that, that piece. Okay. Okay. I will just try the soup. It's going to be so hot for me anyways. So this is one of those medicinal Chinese foods just brimming with health in every sip and every slurp in every hot. Uh, you could say it's a dose because it is medicinal. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I know the uji pretty well. We have it a lot, but not with the coconut. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's oh, it's not just sweet. There's also some fattiness from the coconut. Like there's coconut milk, but it's a clear broth. Very interesting. The flavor is very special. That's, yeah, it's like two soups, two different flavors I know, but mixed together. Okay, that is delicious. Okay. Wow, Sarah, that is delicious. Yeah.
Guangdong classic food, an uh, ancient dish for sure. It's great to have it here with, with our good friends today. Full day planned. Also, we made a video this morning walking around having street food, three different stops, and then the local market. Also a great way to feel like you're taking part in the local culture. Go to a local market on every tour, every country. So we did that and it made way, it didn't make space, but it made way perfectly, like <laughs> in my heart to then proceed to the Pao Cai Fan, which is the dish, kind of, of this whole area. Okay, let Lee sit down. I'll give you some more close-up shots. Lee didn't even wait one second. She handed the camera, and then with her other hand, she already had her chopsticks in her hand. Because I gave her the black chicken neck, which is one of her favorite bites of chicken. Neck or food? Or feet? Wow. Feet, oh, okay. Wow,可以。这些菜都是苦的。广东广西喜欢拿来煮粥。啊。芥菜粉。嗯。好久没吃了,好想吃。我小的时候我不喜欢吃,因为太苦了。嗯,我也是。I don't like it, but I was little. Oh,so little. Look over there, you can see Thai or Mali. You can see the type of rice that they use. They're using it to advertise because it's very high quality rice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is dish. Yeah, I had it for the first time in Malaysia, had it again in Singapore. I've had it in, in Bangkok, for sure, but my first time having it at the source. Wow. It is delicious. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. So if my wife says, oh, oh, it's hot, I know that I should wait approximately eight minutes before I even try. <laughs> So I always kind of laugh at Lee, like she says, oh, it's not hot, it's not hot. Like, Lee, it's insanely hot. I can't even describe. It's almost, I, I think it's about 99.2 degrees centigrade. It's, <laughs> okay, but that's because we live in Thailand where it's very hot. Now we're up here, it is, uh, it's April and it's still cold. I mean, it's chilly outside and it's raining and it's windy. So yeah, now I get it. The hot food keeps you warm. It's it's served blazing hot for a reason. And it does taste better that way. It's just you shouldn't go eating it in Thailand when it's 39 centigrade. She, she would still do that, but... Mm. Ran did it. It wasn't me. So the name of the dish, the coconut is first. Ye zi. Ye zi ji tuan rou. Zi is chicken, but tuan tu rou. Also braising tuan. Uh, tuan. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, the, the stewed meat. Besides chicken, there's pork in there too. 
the coconut and that local type of, of dragon's eye fruit give it such a beautiful flavor. Wow. Mm. And then let me show you a piece of that black chicken also. So Lee is the expert, but she has taught me. You get up close, you go to work. Mm. You can almost, just by putting pressure with your mouth, get pieces of meat out of the nooks and crannies of the bones just by using pressure inside your mouth. And then you just spit back onto the plate. Mm. It's a different style of eating, I know. It's taken me a few years to get used to it, get comfortable with it, and now love it. So I'm, I'm happy when I see people just eating every single bit of meat from the animal, because that's how you really should do it. Mm. Oh, how true. So happy. Rich flavors for sure. But I'm so full, so satisfied. I'm also practicing a lot of Chinese, listening to them talk. It's very cool to be in this situation. I love being here. This is day three of our long China trip. I'm just like, excitement is still climbing up to the mountains. So after this, even though it's not a, about like a meal, it is something very common that you do after a meal, especially something you do with friends. But most of all, I wanna share it with you because this is such a big part of my experience in China. So do you know the game Mahjong? In English, Mahjong. If you're like me, when you grew up on Windows, it was a free game that came with Windows software. It's a Chinese game, it's called Mahjong. Xu Da Mahjong Ma. Do you wanna go play Mahjong? So Ma Jiang is a Chinese game, so Chinese that even different provinces have their own rules. Lee and I are gonna learn Guangdong rules from Xiaoran. So see you at the shop. Thanks for hanging out with us at lunch, but I really, I think you'll find this awesome and interesting and fun. So see you in a few minutes. In the Similan Hotel, up at the top, there is a place we are gonna go to play Ma Jiang. So one of the cool things, KTV, the karaoke, and the Ma Jiang. You go outside to places because it is just that popular. I cannot explain to you how popular, what a rage, what a blast. A great time singing karaoke, playing Ma Jiang. It's a big part of my trips to China with Lee and her friends, and I'm so stoked we get to do it already. So I was looking forward to this, so let's go. Let's go. Okay, so as usual, <laughs> in Thailand, I'm the one who picks what we do, picks what we eat, where we go, and I explain everything to everyone. In China, I have no idea. I'm just along for an awesome ride. <laughs> You see why I like this. So, it's like a hotel room, but it's just for games. Uh, card games, you can, but this is specifically for Ma Jiang. The table, Ma Jiang is very specific. Wait until you see the tricks. You'll understand. I, I did not understand at first. So you, you can bring your own snacks, you can bring your own drinks, no limit. And you can kind of pay what package you want. So I can't read this, but I'm just guessing. There is food menu also drinks menu, but also you can just come to play. So let me show you the table. It is a very specific table because the Mahjong tiles will be shuffled inside the table and it's just so cool. So. You need to wait for their plug in oh, the- Oh, the table electric. is on. Okay, so the, the way that you pay is I think per hour or you can just rent it for the whole night. Per hour, okay. I see. Okay, so we are here per hour. So we have another friend coming also. Uh, this one? Yes. Yes. Again? Yes. I forgot how cool this is. And then it will shuffle another set inside. Can you hear it? Inside the table, it's mixing another set. So there are two sets and they rotate. You can play 
indefinitely. Very intense. Oh yeah. To uh, support it back. Su sa a i. Yes, we know. Let's take a. Dong si nan bei a nan tai nan bei north. West, east, south, north. So the characters of Chinese are very complex. You only need to know four, six of them for this game. And then there are many like shapes, many things like this. What is that? Qi wan. Oh yeah, this, oh yeah. So, <laughs> over here you can see they laid them out for me. We're having a refresher because I forgot how to play this. Jiao ba qi liu. Su San R E nine back down one. Like that, see the pie. See the wash. Pie is like the tire. See pie. Okay. See pie. Okay. Su ah Liu ah Qi Su Qi Ba Wu Liu R E Three Jiao. See pie. We come to play a round. Okay. See pie. So. One of the most fun parts. Remember, there are like two decks in the table, so. Yes. The next one is ready. That's amazing. Okay, so here's how to do it you angle these, and then we roll the dice to see. How to draw? One more time. So, one more time. Okay, we're gonna do the first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, and then so the higher of the two dice. Yes. Then one, two, three, four, five. Bring it here, and then this is where everyone draws. So you don't play with all of them. So. And then this player gets the next. This is for Lee. This is for Sarah. And then you take again and go. This way. Ah, okay. Okay. Then you play this. I have not played this for a long time. No, so just be just be fun. All laying them in a line first. No, so. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So this is just for fun. It's not one of the rules, but you can notice. Yeah. The cool. <laughs> play is just like any I don't know any well loved game, but mahjong is extremely well loved, and it's completely different than the mahjong on the computer that I learned to play with matching tiles. <laughs> matching two tiles is so much easier than this game. So. It's not the purpose of this video. I just wanted to share the whole Majam experience because it is crazy. Also, karaoke KTV experience is another one for China. KTV is too loud to film me. Yeah, can't film that yet. So, at the Similan Hotel, play Majam. Sixteen, take water. How much? 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 How